really big 24 hours for Spitfire. So down to London, but first, change of clothes because we've got to go over to the shed because first we've got to go and film my fingers. Unfortunately, I can't leave those in Edinburgh for Ben to capture. So Ben has come up here to film my fingers. Oh, that's nice. For this new style of video we're doing, which is kind of like a product summary video. We are, of course, releasing uh, studio strings. I'm not letting the cat out of the bag there because you'll be seeing this tomorrow, possibly the day after when we would have announced it. So that's us done. Ben's off to the station. I'm off to the airport. So the last time I had uh, one of these chats with you, uh, was when we were releasing Hands in the Strings, the last really kind of big mega release. And um, it's been interesting because it's, uh, uh, we've all kind of bedded in with our new CEO. Um, and I found my feet as, well, kind of within my new role as a founder, which has been an interesting process because you think you know what that role's gonna be, but it's taken us a good six, nine months to really define that. I'm still obsessed with packaging, obsessed with typesetting, and obsessed with sucking between notes. I guess what Paul and I, as working composers, want with the products is for them to say on the tin what they do and for them to do what they say on the tin. I had one of those lovely moments. Uh, uh, ordered a uh, Sauvignon Blanc and a sparkling water when they asked me if I wanted ice in both the glasses. I said, I'm, I just need one glass. And they said, um, they kind of looked at me funny and I was like, um, well, I'm making my own spritzer. At which point this uh, steward with a very deep voice went, nice. Homemade champagne. <sighs> Sorry. Right, off to HQ, but first a meeting with my accountant. Always alarming, uh, my end of year accounts. Not to see how much tax I'm paying, but how much I spend on equipment. Ugh. Wow. Jesus. This is nuts! Ow. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing! I'm so tilted now what they're doing. And then once they've actually built it... Superstitious because I am. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> wow. So this is like our service store, isn't it? I think. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> All of the Cat 5. This is going to be hormones. Yes, because yeah. like, they didn't have windows in the last one. Yeah. Okay, and this is the development zone, isn't it? They've got the best view. They do, they do have the best view. <laughs> well, because I used to have this view, because I, I was in this building temporarily before they built oh. my studios over the road. St Paul's, shot. Yeah. You can see the tape there as well. I'm project manager at Spitfire um, and on launch day it's normally just bringing everything together from all the different departments so um, that can be all the web staff, all the product staff and then all the marketing side of things and kind of making sure that it's all ready. We can't expect every piece of art to be correct the first time we do it, we yeah. can't expect every video to be correct every time we do it and we have to look at it and say you know is that good enough, does that represent Spitfire, does that, yeah. is that what people are expecting to see because you know we have a lot of fans that 
want to see Spitfire in a certain way and mm -hmm. want to put that across to them and make sure that they feel comfortable when they go to the website and also when they go on YouTube and just watch the videos they go, ah oh, yes, yeah. satisfied I'm seeing Ollie again. Something that was quite um, portentous about the very first time I came to Tile Yard was the fact that my great grandfather's old butcher business, which is still running, Henson and Sons, um, is, or was rather, uh, based here. As a member of the Spitfire family I haven't introduced yet, is Nick. Hello. Hello, mate. And Nick, basically, the tile yard, the thing, we can call it a thing, thing yeah. um, is, is your, your brainchild. Don't well, I can't take all the credit. Oh, I don't sure. know about that. But so what, what is it? I mean, I, but loads of people don't know about the tile yard thing. It's like a mental number of like recording studios and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, I think we had this vision about seven years ago now to try and bring a bunch of us together, really, yeah. and do cool stuff. Because you were in a bag, weren't you? I, yes, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, so I think, I think it can be quite a lonely world as you probably well yes, know. Yes, absolutely. A lot of very talented, creative people all on their own, kind mm -hmm. of in the good times, it's a, no one to celebrate with, mm -hmm. and in the bad times, no one to have a beer yeah, and a cuddle absolutely. with. So the idea is, just bring us together, and surely we're going to all have a better chance of being successful. Seven years later, there's 1,200 of us here now. 1,200? Wow. 85 music studios, of which yours is one of the first. Yeah. Um, and lots of people doing very, very well. And You're allowed to talk about that radio company? Yes, they're, yeah, I can. Beats one. Yeah, they're, so they're, and they're an independent. It's just, they're linked to a big fruit selling company. Company, yeah. But, um, but they're great, and that's a brilliant outlet. They want to champion new music and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah, emerging talent. Yeah. And we're very much an incubator for that. And, and what was kind of magical part of the Spitfire story is you in introduced me to Paul, who's the, the, the landlord here, and Paul became our Absolutely. third investor in yeah. Spitfire, and, and you're of part of the Spitfire family as a Which, which yeah. is a great, it's a great yeah, pleasure and privilege. Excellent. Are you allowed to talk about what? We can, yeah. yeah. So this is, so this is, this is fundamentally, this was a, an old store, the, 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 the uh, shutter there is an old cheese fridge. Right. Um, we're looking at putting a really cool business, a startup that are going to become a production, a kitchen, a production kitchen. Wow. Around a load of brands around delivery. So that's yeah. a, a startup that we want to support. This building here to your left, which you're now looking at, is, a, is the is a series of old fridges. They get right. meats and, and, and cheeses, and then got this sort of outside. So our vision for this is imagine a, a Christmas market or a, oh, a really yeah, nice summer really vibe, cool. bit, of, bit of bit of music and food and beverage. This building here, is it, there you go, the sign, the name. That Jeez, oh, keeps, I had no idea. It just this keeps was... cropping up. So you are going to have an absolute field day when we go in here. So this was, when I first saw this, That's just exciting. before the guys moved out, um, yeah. minus 25 degrees in here, and it was literally a freezer with just full of meat. Minus 25, did you actually yeah. go in? I went in, yeah. What does it, it feel like? It's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> Although my, so my missus is Swedish and um, we've skied in, in Sweden in the winter and it's at minus 25. Right. And you can't have any of your face exposed for more than a Oh few my God. <laughs> oh my God. This is insane. Okay. <laughs> the first thing that any... So this was a freezer. What? Oh, I had no idea. This is... No. Well, no, no, I think it'd be very easy to fix. Yeah. Because the thing about Abbey Road 1 is actually it's not that wet. Right. But very similar dimensions. I think Amazing. So, yeah, this is it's 26 metres by 
I think it's I think it's 12 high. Could be even more. But yeah, the, the guys, there's a couple of production companies have been here. Just said, Did we, can we please put events on in here? It's yeah, fantastic. that's insane. And then you've got all these amazing outside space. Yeah, it just could be really, really interesting. Massive theatre, you know, so much of that going Amazing. On. And there are lots of things going on at Tarly. I'd like, there are kind of networking events and there are like songwriting camps and all that. And there's some big hits have come out of Tarly already. They have. I mean, we've, we've just, interestingly, we've just done a big census where we've been around to every business and spoken to the business owners, all the, a, a great number of which are sole traders, actually. Right. And just to find out, you know, the diversity at Tar Yard, the, sort of the demographic, the success, you know, yeah. what the business is. This is mainly really for us to sort of have an understanding ourselves. But we've, 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 from music that's been created at Tar Yard in the last six years, we've had uh, nearly 50 billion streams. Fuck! Which would take 170,000 years to listen to them all. So that gives you an idea of the, the some of the successes. We've had over 20 awards, big, award, big awards from Brits to, that's to, uh, to an Ivor. And then... Yeah, and then beyond that, we just, I think really for me, it's just still early days. You know, we haven't really got started yet. We've got, you know, nearly 145 businesses, and we want to keep rolling. We need more space. We want to get yeah. more talent. And oh, that's amazing, mate. Well, listen, thanks for showing that. Absolutely. That's pleasure. something I'll oh, cool. Yeah, so. And I'll see you. Keep talking about I'll that. See you a bit later. Yeah, absolutely. Take care, mate. Yeah. See you later. Ready to go. So they just need to tell me when to press the button, basically. Oh. Awesome. Do the yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is it, you're actually catching it. Really? Now. Wow. <laughs> I always imagine there's like a distant sound, it's just... <laughs> <B-I-C>. yeah. <laughs> just distant nuke. Don't put that on your lock. <laughs> I'm going to put that bit where you go, don't put that on your blog, on my blog. But not the bit before it. <laughs> Okay, right, that, I've got my um, checklist ready when you, are, when you want to start going okay. through it. Okay, Jack, we're doing two, remember? Dave. Okay, so now, now. we have to rebuild the catalogue before I can put it into yep. collection. So I'm doing that now, rebuild. <laughs> it takes so long. <laughs> okay, so you need to rebuild again because I didn't put studio strings on the promo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please check both. It is on promo. It is on promo. Josh! <laughs> no count. Right, I'm just going to search for them. Studio Street Professional, Studio Street Yeah. 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 How many years ago did we start this project? Three. Yeah. Gin? Cheers. 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 Cheers.